started Saxon, we really saw an opportunity to deliver a, a great looking custom motorcycle at a tremendous value. The, the one underlying theme I, I think you'll see is, is that we're never satisfied. Uh, you know, we're always trying to figure out how to get better. We decided very early on that we wanted to produce motorcycles that are you know, great looking, uh, cool and push the envelope from a design standpoint. So we made decisions to partner with uh, guys like Guard from LA County Chop Rods who could come in help to push the envelope from a design perspective for us. When we began the uh, relationship it was a fairly unique thing for a uh, autonomous custom motorcycle designer and builder to work that closely with a production company. It's sort of a, a you know a, a tribute to Saxon that they have allowed me the artistic freedom. In the fabrication and manufacturing shop we work around the clock to keep up with the demand for Saxon's product. We have a state-of-the-art facility featuring uh, CNC machines, water jet, all the state-of-the-art equipment. Saxon frames are second to none. They are by far the best in the industry from what goes into them in the beginning in the design process to all the analysis afterwards. They are definitely way above the best in the industry. is a computer numeric controlled machine that enables us to build quality parts each and every time. We're one of the very few shops that feature a, a CNC water jet that we can cut up to four inch thick anything that you put underneath it and that's really enabled Saxon to you know, be a leader in the industry because they do a lot of parts that no other manufacturer can do. When we started the company, we initially built bikes using two-man teams that would build a motorcycle from start to finish. What we learned real quickly was in order to build the bikes consistently and make sure we had a level of quality uh, that we needed to have, it made a lot more sense to use a production line and break each of the individual you know, parts of the production process down into stages that people could specialize in. It improved our performance tremendously. You know, all bikes start out in pre-assembly where the frames are prepped, uh, the engines are prepped, all of the sub-assemblies are put together. The bike then starts uh, on the assembly line where the you know, engine goes in, the major powertrain components are in, the front end goes on. Uh, I spent probably the last, before I came to Saxon, I spent about 17 years sitting behind a desk taking phone calls and uh, this job, you're a person, and that's that's real important. The corporation I worked for before, you became a number, and that wasn't good. You're a person here, and that's important. Uh, I'm getting the bike ready so that everything will go smoothly afterwards. Try to turn out a bike that is problem free so that these people can ride for you know thousands of miles error free, problem free. My name is David Shepard. I've been working here for three years. I man station two, which is the electrical station. All right, once I receive the bike from station one, I'll go ahead and wire up the bike. Uh, the first thing I do is I install the main harness, the oil bag. I put connectors, I cut the wires to the length they need to be cut to, install the battery, and once that's all done, I, I'll check uh, the components and make sure they work uh, properly. We do the vast majority of our paint and graphics in-house. We have dozens of graphics options to choose from. Well, it uh, usually starts, you know, raw metal, goes to the body shop, body men get it ready for the painters and make sure everything's nice and smooth. Paint shop takes it and puts the uh, 
the, the colors on. And if it needs artwork, it goes to, to me, and I lay it out with a spray mask. Then it goes from me, goes back to the painter, gets cleared, comes back to me for pinstriping, then goes back for clear again, and then the buffer makes it look all nice for us. My name is Randy Wample. I've been working here for two years. And then station three, the rear fender goes on, the wheels go on, uh, numerous other components go on before it goes to final assembly. You know, really, nothing is left to chance in the production process. You know, the bikes are checked and rechecked. Yeah, I inspect his work and the guy before him, his work. I also technically inspect the, the prep people's work as well. Um, as well as inspecting my own work, I double check it with the check. Again, at the last station of the line, we'll install the, the, the parts that have the highest likelihood of damage on the, in the process, so we save those for last. So what I do is stage four. Um, we start by installing the exhaust, put on the gas tank, front fender, bleeding the brakes, just all the final touches to get the bike over to PDI and be ridden and sent out to dealers. Uh, after it's built on the production line, we have a, a process which is called PDI, pre-delivery inspection. Um, what we do at the beginning of that is we do a startup procedure on the bikes and we have a checklist that we go down and uh, just check some key torque specs on the bikes and uh, air pressure, uh, all the electrical that is working correctly, um, the oil lines are routed correctly before we start it up, and then we have a six-step startup procedure. Um, and then after that, we'll go ahead and it'll go over to PDI to actually be test ridden. Uh, one of the things that was very important to us from the time that we started the company was you know, really not having our bikes look like every other bike out, uh, out on the market today. So building bikes that not only look great, and look different from other bikes that are on dealers' floors, but also ride great and are comfortable. Um, those are things that have been just really high priorities for us. Right now we've got six models in, in our uh, product line that you can choose from. We've got uh, uh, two choppers and three pro streets. All of the models have their own gas tanks, handlebars specific to them. Uh, we do a number of different themes for, for different bikes to try and tie in the styling. Separate from those five bikes, obviously, is the Crown. Uh, the Crown stands all by itself. It was designed by Gard Hollinger of L.A. County Chop Rods, a pretty well-known and respected designer and builder. Um, that bike really looks like nothing else in our line and nothing else in the market today. The Crown was, a, was the first sort of interesting project because originally they came to me and said take our warlord and just do some of the stuff you do with unique finishes and colors and give us a little something different with that bike so I basically said to them look let me go a little bit further um, they gave me the freedom to do it and Crown came about and it's been a, a really good seller and a success in terms of sort of showing that they're a company that's willing to do something a little bit different, a little bit cutting edge. Based on the success of the Crown, we are doing our second project together, uh, which is a bike called the Mad Jack. We've been sort of working on design and development for 10 to 12 months now and we're close to having our first complete bike, which then we'll refine. Well, we're going for a ride, and I'm going to show you exactly what it means to ride a Saxon. Just everything about the Saxon was what I wanted. Comfort fit, everything like that, the way the controls were, everything was just there, the way it rode was most importantly. I initially wanted to buy the Crown bike and then I saw that bike and I liked the way it sat on the showroom. That's why I bought that one. And I like the price of it too. Today we're 
going on a ride on the Saks motorcycles and I like to ride on them because they're super sexy. <laughs>